Welcome to the Chatbot Conference. So my name is Stefan and, and today we're going to talk about something very interesting and that is what is a chatbot? We're going to talk about the different components of chatbots, um, how we see the chatbots online and in our lives, and then finally uh, how and what use cases are the most common for chatbots and how lastly you can take advantage of it because this is a, one of the fastest growing industries and Gartner predicts that within the next couple of years about 85% of companies are going to be using chatbots. Let's jump in. What is a chatbot? Uh, great question. So a chatbot also can be referred to virtual assistants or voice assistants is basically a piece of software that takes language and turns it into an action. So if you think about any app um, that you, you use on your phone or online or, or, even a, or even a device that you use at your home, like a light switch, basically what it, what's happening is that you're pushing a button and that button is creating some kind of a response. So the first part of a chatbot is that we're taking language and we're substituting the language and we're turning the language into a button and that button creates the same type of response. So the first two parts of a chatbot are the natural language processing layer that turns language into buttons. And then the second piece is going to be the application layer that for example, turns the lights on or off. Uh, for example, in this example. Now, the next piece of a chatbot is going to be the database layer, right? So anytime a user does something, we want to record it, we want to have uh, records of it, we want to be able to analyze this information and then improve our application. So having a database uh, is really useful. Also, database can pull information and push information. So uh, you might ask a chatbot a question, the chatbot would go to a database, pull an answer, share it with you, then you could follow up and ask it to do something in regards to that information. So next question is, is um, where do we see uh, chatbots in our, in, our, in our everyday life? So there's a few really prominent places. The place that they're becoming really, really popular right now is um, at home with Google Voice, uh, with Google Home, with Alexa, Echo, with Siri. Uh, all of these applications are essentially vying for the opportunity to be your virtual assistant. And in the very near future, you're going to be able to ask Google or, or Amazon or Apple almost anything you want. You're going to be able to order pizza. You're going to be able to get home services like plumbing done uh, all through voice. And we're already seeing voice search um, really take off in terms of how often people are using uh, their voice to search on Google uh, instead of uh, typing it in. So this is one of the fastest growing spaces within voice. Uh, another front end that you've experienced is websites. So how often have you gone to a website and seen the little uh, chat with us now bubble on the bottom? These little bubbles are getting better and better. So every time you go to a website in the future, instead of you looking around trying to find out if they have the services um, or the features that, you're, that you need um, or they have the right size or color, you're going to be able to go into this little bot and ask it the question, you know, do you have this in size 12 or do you have it in blue and so on. And pretty soon it's, uh, the whole internet is going to become more and more conversational. Um, another place we're seeing them is on SMS and messaging apps. This is one of theirs that they're the most prominent in. So, for example, Messenger has a number of bots that you can talk to and then, of course, so does uh, SMS. Right now Google's launching something called Rich Business Messaging which will allow you to text any business and for them to automatically and quickly respond um, what are the most uh, popular ways that people and uh, companies are using chatbots. We can quickly go over the top use cases. So first is going to be customer service, right? You go to someone's website and you have a quick question, um, a chatbot could quickly answer that question. So that's the most common use case right now that we're seeing customer service. And customer service is such a huge value add that it's saving companies millions of dollars, especially if they're a large company at scale. So if you're Walmart, for example, in 2018, when they started to do customer service chatbots, what they found was that even though their e-commerce and their company was growing, their cost basis for customer service remained flat simply because they added chatbots to the mix. And what chatbots do for customer service is they automatically answer the most common questions. So if you could automate that, that bottom uh, or the you know, 20 most commonly asked questions or even the 10 uh, most commonly asked questions, it's gonna make a huge difference in terms of um, your ROI and your cost basis on customer service. 
Um, the next place is uh, chatbots are really helping with sales and marketing. And this is stuff on the front end. And the way they help with that is because they're able to do what all great salesmen do. And that is they're able to collect information and personalize the experience to your needs. So a good chatbot will ask you a number of questions are, you know, uh, and then be able to take that information, that data, and be able to do two things with it. The first thing is it's going to be able to personalize and give you a result just for you or answer a question that's very specific to you. And the second thing it'll do is it'll give the bot owner an enormous amount of data of all the different people that are using this bot and some of the things that they have in common, which they can then use this information and these insights uh, to lower their Facebook marketing costs or Google marketing costs because they can then target the audience in a more direct way. So sales marketing, customer service are the top use cases for bots. Another one that we see that almost no one is talking about is backhand bots. These are the B uh, to E business to employee bots. And these chatbots live in the backhand of organizations, usually big companies. And what we're seeing is that as, especially right now with what's happening in the world uh, pandemic wise, a lot of companies uh, have a lot of employees that are not very useful uh, in terms of ROI are very needed. And they're finding that out now because they see who's really doing the work and who isn't. And to some degree, a lot of companies uh, also, with the threat of what's going on in the world right now, they're shrinking the number of employees they have. And one way they're doing it is through bots. And the way they're using bots is twofold. One is they're helping uh, use bots to automate, again, these really frequently asked questions internally. And these are going to be things in like the HR department. You, employees might ask, you know, how much sick time do I have? Or how much paid time off do I have? How much did I pay in taxes last year? What's my W-2? I got married or et cetera, right? And chatbots can automatically uh, solve these problems 24 seven. So it lowers your HR cost because you don't have to have someone there all the time. Um, the second thing that it does um, is that chatbots are being used in the hiring an onboarding process for employees. So imagine if uh, you're applying for a new company, um, instead of you giving them your application, now what, what we're seeing is uh, a chatbot will talk to you, ask you a number of questions, it'll read your application, and it'll get a pretty good idea of, of how well you would fit with the company and what areas you would fit. Now from a company standpoint, it's really important because maybe this candidate applied for one job but maybe he would be really be good for two or three different roles within your company. And now what the chatbot does is it lines up that interview for that job one, the first job. The, the, the candidate might go to it. He does a good job. Maybe they, they, they hire a different candidate. Now this candidate, instead of uh, the company losing that contact, what happens is now they might recommend him for job two or job three or job four. And now the company is using up less resources in hiring. And then once that candidate is hired, then the chatbot is going to uh, give them all the documents that they need and all the information that they need in an onboarding process. So uh, here's what you need for day one, here's your day five module, here's your day 10 module, and then the bot could even go a step further and ask them if they're, you know, what are your deliverables? Okay, did you deliver on, on your due date? How did you feel about it? And kind of always keep track of, of, of how well the employee is doing uh, within the company. So there's a lot more use cases, but those just scratching the surface. So those are the main ones that we're seeing. And then when it comes to the voice side, again, we're seeing a lot of stuff with like voice search, which is really popular, uh, asking questions like, you know, if you ask Google, who's Tom Brady or something like this. So in this case, voice is becoming very, very prominent. And, and we think that in the future, voice is going to become a major driver of local services and, and, and for buying local products. So um, Alexa is already seeing a lift. Um, Amazon is seeing a lift with people using Alexa. If, they're using, if they have an Alexa device at home, their odds of uh, getting or purchasing more frequently is dramatically increased because it's really easy to tell Alexa to add certain things to your basket. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about chatbots, please comment below and we'll try to get to them. And if you have any suggestions or other videos you recommend us doing, please uh, suggest in the comments. 
and make sure you like and follow the little bell on this video and we'll see you around for the next one. Thank you.